I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Oh, come on, man. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... And we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You tried to lie about what you did to get here. But we both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. <sighs> you lose your head for this, Tuttle. Oh, please. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You don't even have the courage to admit what you did. I no did nothing you wrong, you fuckhead. Hey, Frostfinger. Fuck you. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. Oh, God. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go well, on, then. not everything. I was only there at the very end. You had your say. Actually, I was there the whole time. Oh. Were you? Then tell us. All right. Then you better say the truth. Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him, just like he said. Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. Uh, you two are up to something. Come on, Frosty. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for, for some reason I can't fathom. Finn's just being a good brother. I think. Can't watch a man die and just... I decide what justice is. That's not how justice works. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. Uh, hey, no. Come on. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Frostfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusty's. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod. You told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What Here happened? we go again. I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. But there's no coming back from You're this. You're talking to me like I John, specifically went for him. I honored my vows. Brit wanted a fight and I, I wouldn't give him one. I tried to stop it, honest. I believe you. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? I'm What's not a traitor. No, wait, I'm not a We're traitor. So keep your That's eyes the open. difference. Hey. Now let's move. No, you're down two men. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has uh, the final say. No! Fuck you, Frost Dick! Ah! No! Get me out of here!
Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Especially those who seek to waste my time. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them. Covered in dirt. Hey. Oh. Um. Friend of yours? Oh, shit. <gasps> uh. Are you frightened? No. I've no. never seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. It's all right. He's, uh. He's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Asha. I'm mm. inclined to agree with her on this one. He won't bite. Alright. I'll do it. Allow me. Hey, buddy. <laughs> How you doing? Easy, boy. Easy. Ah. Uh, <gasps> You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? Hmm, mm, sure, sure. You claim sure. you saw Drogon. Give Who? You. Oh yeah, the dragon. I told you, I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. How? Will that be a problem? How about this? Eh, yeah, take that. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've uh, hurt him, no, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't hurt him. I didn't hurt him. Wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. Uh, He's only a child. A child who can. I fire might have wounds. waved my he sword at him. Anyone. Not unless he was attacked. If we did, I'm sorry. It wasn't our intention. We weren't looking for a fight. And neither was he. Sure he wasn't. Beshka, Your come tongue on. is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Come on. Why did you come here? You've been polite. Accommodating. To what end? You want gold? A title? <clears throat> no. My undying gratitude. What do you want from me? Asher Forrester. With your permission, I want to hire a contingent of the Second Sons. I need them to help me fight for my family back in Westeros. The Second Sons? Has your reason yep. failed you? Please, what? If I what also it, came uh, here looking for an army. But what I found mm. were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will Ooh. help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. Well, these are people who have suffered for years without end. 50 50? We only need a few men. Those who follow Croft could come with me, the rest are yours. They are all mine. There must be something I can do to convince you. All right, all right. Jeez. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. Uh. No, hey, Croft, come on. You may leave. Oh, that's but it. Your Grace. See the uh, uh, <laughs> We're not just cell swords. We're the best damn cell swords in Slaver's Bay. <laughs> I yeah. Might disagree with you. His boasting aside, they were two of my best fighters. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She can Malcolm. What the hell? 
Malcolm. Is this true? <sighs> yes. Damn it. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. Sorry, Beshka. I tried to cover it up. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the second sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't. <sighs> this could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. As you please. Well, let me put it this way. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't she be going at all. <clears throat> she can draw a map or something. I, I don't know. That's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city. Help them liberate Marine. And I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. Why? If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Oh. Good. That's why. Croft will get you settled in. <sighs> it's going to be a long night. Hmm. <sighs> Back there. What do you we mean? Going into Marine. We have to. Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Best get your Come on. Up here. Extra bedrolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Alright. So. Ah. <sighs> Long time since we had a piss pocket. I spent yeah. two years trying to get where I am now. Uh huh. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. All right, now, all right. We got two more. <sighs> hey. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> take that. No. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ow! Shit! Curse this bloody leg! Hey, it's not your leg that's the problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roylan. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Even so. Yeah. It set a precedent. Look at me, Royland. Can barely hold this damn thing, much less swing it. So, you're gonna give up then? I didn't there are say other that. To fight, my lord. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? What do I mean to flash him? I'll show you. Throw dust in his eye? What? Come at me. Um, alright. Charge! Ow! Ow! Hey! Down to your level. Oh, I get it. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Okay. Got it. Uh. <laughs> Let's try it again. All right, all right. Take it a little slow next time, all right? Yeah, there you go. Jeez. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> you let me. Uh, oh, ah, ooh. <sighs> hmm. The Lord. Sorry to interrupt. Lane. Yes. Oh. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Okay. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Tell you. Uh, Roderick. What's going on? Can I speak with you? Privately. <sighs> sure. You remember my little brother? Quiver. Good gods, you've grown. Oh. You could just call me Arthur now. All right, Quiver. Coming unannounced. 
But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. No, 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 no. You're always welcome here. We're to be married. You'll be calling Iron Wrath home soon. Exactly. Yes, well, um, that's why I came, actually. Oh. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... What? He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Look, oh, come on. My Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. Uh, he agreed, Roderick. Uh, I am to marry Griff Whitehill. Uh, that arrogant pig-eyed prick. I still can't believe father agreed to it. Elena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. Hmm. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. No, no, nobody's going to rip you open, all right? We have to get rid of him. Uh. I can't think of any other way. Mm. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind, and so have I. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around that. What? <laughs> what are you calling to the birds and this? Oh. Um. You brought your men. I command father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours, if you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. Hmm. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff well... has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. Why till still have my little brother? If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. But Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. But I promised Gwen. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I Fine. Be happy to. Fine, I'll do Thank it. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Uh, Arthur. Arthur, Could yes. Could you give us a moment? So... You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. <laughs> you don't know how much Maybe this means to me. Over, we could play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. Sure, if I don't die. I'd like that very much, Elena. From doing this. Then you know where to find me. <laughs> all right, come here, you. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. I fancy marry his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei and Jaime. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. 
Hmm. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. I bet it's one of those Ironwood merchants. Lord Morgren and Lord Andros. It's hard to say. Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Mm. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been yeah. uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Well... Don't handbangs look out for each other? I'll ask. We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. Yeah, only it's if it... Time. Only if it works. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's um, Landing seems to uh, have it in for you. Don't worry, I'm always... Ow! I'm always careful. There ain't... ain't those mainly on yeah, the plane. Rain in Spain stays mainly on the plane. Rain in Spain stays mainly on the plane. Rain in Spain stays mainly on the plane. You'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Hmm. All right then. <sighs> Gotta get out of here before before they get back. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. <clears throat> Got that right. <coughs> Loose stone. Hmm. Push the stone. I can't move it. Won't budge. Maybe if I oh. Um, what the hell? What, what are, are you doing, doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. I owe you for this. If we make it out alive, I... Well, now that you mention it... What? Uh, I want to go with you, Garrett. To the North Grove. Uh... You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle mm. Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Oh. Let me see what I can do. Hmm. I bet if there's something heavier, like a sack of oh, onions. Crab apples. Hmm. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. Right. Yes. A rusty trowel, some sand, <sighs> scraps of wood. How about the trowel? Yeah, maybe this will that do. Might be useful. Might be useful for this loose stone. Here we go. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. Gonna break the stone with this trowel. Yeah. Yeah. I can see it. It's coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? Yeah. Uh... 
Uh. All right. I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. Maybe. Who? Uh, that's a tight squeeze right there. All right. Oh boy. Lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. It worked, didn't it? Finn, it's not safe to be seen with us. Then good thing I brought this. Whoa. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with Potato Fucker over here? I'd rather uh take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Admit it. You're not coming with us, Finn. I'm asking Garrett. Alright, Finn. Sure. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Come on, guys. Oh. Let's play knights here, huh? We're all deserters now. Let's try to be at least a little bit civilized. <laughs> See ya, suckers. 